Mm, two o'clock, the money just came in again. I love property income. Definitely going to help me out buying the silo. Hopefully I can buy it. Possibly tomorrow. Just checking the uh, income page. And yeah, the farm is making pretty close to anywhere from sixty to $75,000 now a day. This in property income. And I don't have to pay any workers because there's no one around here. But speaking of workers, the autonomous tractor is over the hill planting soybeans in the field. I just harvested the canola in. And good amount of canola as well. 66,000 liters of canola I got off that field. Pretty darn good. I thought about going over harvesting the other canola field, but I wanted to get this oat field, our cereal crop field, harvested. Just so I can go ahead and pick up this, well, make straw pellets and put that into the heating plant, get some more income in. And I'm hoping by the time I wake up tomorrow, I may have maybe uh, 125000 And if the price is right with eggs or something, I can possibly get enough to put down the silo. But, you know, got to just keep on working. Just keep on working. But I did get the field, well, the autonomous tractor did get the field weeded down on the other side. But unfortunately, we did get just a little bit of mature weeds growing in the field. So, yeah, I'm going to lose a little bit of yield off that field in that one corner because, well, the weeds, yeah. It's a little bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue. But nothing too bad. It's not going to hurt me too much. But I hope by the end of today anyways I can get this field done make them some straw pellets uh, have to see if this field needs any requirements before it reseed it the autonomous tractor can come right back on over and yeah I think the rotation I got going here I gotta plant wheat next just to keep the straw going I thought about planting wheat or barley in the field over the hill where we're planting soybeans right now but um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with soybeans for now, just to try to get the cash coming in a little bit, because I would like to take care of this loan, just to get it off my mind, but then again, I'm also trying to get money for a silo, so, yeah, as it stands right now, I need another $450,000 to take care of both, actually, rephrase that, I need 460, because I got to probably pay a good amount of money for the foundation for the silo as we have a nice little area for it all set and ready to go. Let's back up here. I got the 1050 ready to go with the Primos. Dump the oats in there. The horses, well, I got plenty of oats in there. Not, not in the trailer, but in the silo. And I'm also thinking now, yeah, once I get the new silo built, I'll probably tear down the old one and maybe get some money from the scrap metal that I get from that. I don't know how much I'll get from it, but never know. Uh, that could help putting money towards the loan after I pay off the silo. Things to think about. Alright, and now put the pipe in. Uh, I also probably need to take care of the animals a little bit today. They probably need their feed troughs kind of cleaned out. They're, they are a little bit messy. Try to keep the animals as happy as I can. They keep me happy. It gives me some someone to talk to. Someone, or should I say something? I guess I should say someone. I mean, it kind of, you know, they, they do have feelings in a way. I don't want to say something. It's like I'm degrading them a little bit. Yeah, anyways, I've been here long enough now. Starting to lose my mind a little bit more than what I had when I got here. Didn't have much of a mind when I got here, but I'm yeah, not talking to anyone face-to-face -face for a long time. I think I'm starting to go a little cuckoo. Just a little bit cuckoo. Make some nice straight lines for the primos to pick up the straw. And that just leaves one more canola field to harvest. If I get to it today, not that big of a deal because right now the canola price is sort of trash. So having it harvested, and it doesn't take me that long to harvest that field anyways with the class Lexian. 
So if the price was really good, I could harvest that field probably in like five minutes. But definitely get this field flipped over so I can get the straw pellets into the heating plant. Just make a little bit more money. It's the name of my game right now, just making a little bit of money. Like, but like I've been saying, I'm not in that much of a rush anymore to make as much money as I once trying to do. But that was way back when we had a $1.5 million loan. We got it down to 200000 And the loan payment at midnight is rather cheapish. So I'm not too concerned about it. But I would like to make Oliver just a little bit happy by not having a loan on the farm. He wasn't too keen when I first came here to have a loan at all. But I think he sees a benefit sometimes of taking out a loan getting some better equipment and then the farm can profit a lot more than by not having a loan at all and that is our oats all harvested leave that there to do its thing hop into the 1050 fire it up I already got filled up I don't have much molasses left so I'm going to have to probably take care of that sometime soon. Probably next time I do the field. Hopefully I got enough to finish here. I should have. But after next harvest, I'll probably have to go down and buy a crate of molasses again. But now it's time to slowly drive around, pick up some straw pellets, get into the heating plant. So I think I make an extra like $1,000 an hour at least from straw pellet sales in the heating plant. I probably would not mind doing more cereal crop and putting the straw pellets into the heating plant. This, that. Now this takes me a while just to do this small field here. So doing a big field, that would take me a long long time and I'll have to refill with molasses quite often water I don't care about we got the nice well over here that we take the water from I wonder though could I possibly somehow get the autonomous tractor to do this I suppose I could set it up in a way that I could if I were to set up, say, the combine harvester to follow a certain path every time the field's that way, the swath is always in the exact same location. And then the autonomous tractor could go around on the same path as what the combine took and it should pick up all the straw. I would just have, I would just have to take my time to come back and forth and empty out the pellet. something to think about what I do here in the farm I got plenty of time to think good thoughts and bad thoughts good ideas bad ideas but so far I think I've had more good ideas than bad ideas here although a couple of the buildings I built I don't really need but it hasn't hurt me too much here. Okay, so we are just about full. Go ahead and lift that up. Let's go dump this into the heating plant. It does look a lot different over here now with all these, I think we cut down seven trees. And then, of course, we cultivated the ground, so got rid of all the tall grass and shrubs. It's a little cleaner over here. And I'm hoping tomorrow, tomorrow morning, the egg prices are looking good. They're not that great right now. But hopefully the price is pretty high. Right, getting this in just before the top of the hour, but I'm probably not going to make that much cash because the heating plant has not run 
and won't have run more than a minute. So not going to see that great much income here. It doesn't seem like this Primos holds a lot of pellets, but it definitely seems like it takes a while to unload it. Alright, fold that back up. We'll make some more straw pellets. Keep putting into the heating plant. The more, the better. The more pellets, the more money. getting close to the top of the hour so I wonder what the hourly income is going to be this hour so I'm sitting at 54,000 we'll call it a little bit extra change I wonder when the Thomas tractor is going to get done seeding that field as well been at it for a while I haven't got any messages he's out of seed or fertilizer or anything so $5,189 in income the last hour that's not too bad I mean if I can keep that up all day long wow that'd be a lot of cash but I won't be able to keep it up that much now, I'm wondering if I'm going to overfill the heating plant. I may have to keep, usually have to keep some in storage in the Primos. But I think it's burning through it. It's a little bit faster today, more than normal. So I think I might get the whole field of straw pellets into the heating plant today. Without having to store it. Like I said, once I get done with this field and then when the autonomous tractor gets done, I'll bring that over and it'll seed wheat into this field. While it's doing that, I'll be cleaning out and taking care of the animals a little bit. I'll have to go over and look at the Total Mix Rations Mixer just to see how much TMR I do have for the cattle. I've looked at it before, not too long ago, but it's one of those things. You ever have one of those moments where you look at your watch to see what time it is? And then someone sees you, sees you look at the watch and say, what time is it? And you're like, I don't know. You look at your watch again and then you forget what time it is again. That's the way I am with the TMR mixer. So that looks like that's all the heating plant can take for now. So no, it's not going to be able to take all of the pellets. Hmm. I wonder if I can get all the straw turned over and get this field cleared out before the autonomous tractor is done. The good part is I don't think I'm going to run out of molasses. The water, like I said, I don't care about. I can go overhead and top it off from the water tank. The water tower, I guess I should call it. Yeah, I think I can get all the straw off this field. If not, it'll be pretty much taken care of. So, yeah, I may just go ahead and get the autonomous tractor to seed it anyways. But I believe I can get it all in here. Then I'll have to make sure I get that grain into the silo. Hopefully just another couple days before we can buy the new silo and get that placed in. Now I don't think it's something that I build. Uh, I, I also need to double check. I'm not sure if the foundation comes with the silo or do I have to put down the foundation. I'm not sure. I have to look at it, see if the price includes the foundation. Since they're the ones building it, that might include the whole price. I'm not sure. But when I go ahead and purchase it, or maybe I'll just uh, send the, uh, put a note down there at the store and ask, with this silo, does it come with the foundation price included or what? Yeah, it should be able to fit all this straw into the Primos for now. And of course, the other great thing about getting the new silo, I believe, and I've checked this before, but I'm 99% sure I can store straw pellets in that thing. And loose straw and all that, it'll separate it, keep it nice and dry. So that way, if I ever decide to do more fields of cereal crop and I have a whole bunch of straw pellets, the heating plant can take what it takes and I can put the rest in storage and not have to worry about it and keep on 
making more and more straw pellets. I'm just going to go over here and park this here for now. Don't think it'll take any, and if it does take any, it won't be much. It's taking more than I thought it would. Alright, so I think I'll leave it here because the way the heating plant chews through that, it won't take that long. I can take care of the grain later on. Hmm, tomatoes. You know, I, I feel like just having like maybe some tomatoes with a little bit of salt on them this evening for dinner. I had a tuna fish sandwich for lunch when I was harvesting the canola field on the other side. And I'll tell you what, uh, when you nibble on a tuna fish sandwich and you just leave out in the combine just a little bit as you drive around and just keep, keep nibbling at it and that tuna gets warm, I'm not a fan of warm tuna. Not at all. Kind of suck near the end, but you know, it was lunch, I had it, all worked out. That does remind me, I probably need to order some more groceries. I've got enough food here on the farm, I could, like tomatoes, apples, you know, we got corn. I'm eating all that stuff, but every once in a while, you, you just got to order some groceries from the store. Oh, no. Forecast just came up for rain. Hmm. That's always fun. Uh, let me get that on. That's a pallet fork, so I don't want those on there. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to need to go up and see what the autonomous tractor is doing. I'm surprised that is still seeding that field. I haven't got any messages that it's not moving or it's out of seed or fertilizer or that it completed. So it'd be good just to go over the hill and check on it. I really should probably take some time to start uh, maybe making some more roads to the fields, maybe some pathways around it. Well, I can see where it has been. No, it's, it's, it's she's moving. All right, she probably should stay off the field here. All right, time to clean up the sheep, the chicken, the pigs, and the cows. And everyone should be pretty much happy. I think they're okay on food for a while. It always looks like the sheep have a lot of food on the ground, but usually not as much as you think. Apparently my bucket's not down far enough. There we go. All that and it's only like 240 liters of grass. But they'll, they'll get their production up from like 90 to 100% for a little while. Alright, now the chickens. The chickens are kind of the pride and joy of the farm because those eggs uh, do bring in a good amount of cash. If the price gets up to around two thousand dollars per, I probably have pretty close to a hundred grand of eggs sitting here. I thought about getting another chicken coop to get more chickens, but I think we're doing fine. I mean, it sounds like a great idea just because I need all the extra cash. And I need it really fast, but. Once I get the loan paid off and the silo put down, I don't need money for much, but it's always good to have the money, right? So, yeah, after, after I finish cleaning the animals, the autonomous tractor should be somewhat done. I'll probably take a little bit of a break, maybe get this stuff kind of cleared up. Or I'll just take the combine. I can take the combine and actually harvest the canola field before the rain hits and just dump the canola right into the silo. And then 
I can empty uh, the oak grain into the silo as well because the 1050 does have the primo still attached to it. And um, yeah, but I'm harvesting this field. The autonomous tractor should be planting some wheat into the cereal crop field that we have. I think I see Arnold over there. He looks pretty darn happy. That, that is him over there. Scooped up all this pig food that we have, or that they have. That looks like they could use some straw here in another day or so. I wonder if I'm getting too many pigs here. I may have to, uh, hmm, I don't know, lease a trailer maybe and sell some pigs? Bring them back to the market? Careful not with the cows here. And they're all good. I think the one thing I do need to do, if I'm not going to be able to do it in the rain, I'll have to wait until the rain passes, is go over to our grass field and start making some more silage because we are getting kind of low on it. Let's come over here. How are we doing? Actually, the mixer is full. I could put like maybe 10,000 liters of silage in there. Oh, and the autonomous tractor's done. That's it, that is all pretty darn convenient, isn't it? Um, 31,000 liters of silage left. So that's basically that 31,000. This was empty. I would only fill it one more time. So yeah, I need to get to that grass field. Ah. <sighs> So probably tomorrow, since it's 5 o'clock in the evening, by the time I harvest that and uh, put that away, hopefully it rains overnight, not in the morning. And um, yeah, I can get to cutting the grass field and bring it on over here, compact it on up, cover it up, and in a couple days we'll have some more silage. That's not too bad of a thing. But the autonomous tractor is done. So I'm going to go park this tractor up, and I'm actually just going to jaunt on down there and grab it and bring it back. Once I get that started, I'll grab the combine, come over here, harvest this quickly. It probably won't rain till after dark anyways, so I got a couple hours to go. But not too bad. In the last couple of hours, I've gone from like 49000 to 64000 in the bank account. I kind of like that. I like it a lot. I will probably head on down to the store after I get done work, put a note on it, and like ask them if that silo model number I'm looking at does that come with the foundation? Curious minds want to know. Well, it did finish the whole field. I just wish I had an option to where the engine turns off after they're done. I mean, diesel fuel isn't cheap, but it's not that expensive in the hindsight of looking at how much money comes into the farm and how much we pay for things I mean it's not that expensive but um, yeah the fields looking good soybeans have been planted now it's probably gonna have to top this off I have to see how much seed and fertilizer is in it and uh, yeah keep planting some wheat into our cereal crop field and I'll do that right after this earthquake finishes up <laughs> 